What time is it, kids? It's howdy doody time. It's howdy. I've, I've been drinking. No. In fact, it's time for another episode of 15 Minutes. Starring Rosie O'Donnell. Oh. Or is that Roseanne Barr? Oh. Where's that Frank Dresser? Oh, Mr. Leguizamo. Oh. What the hell is the matter with me? Oh. Welcome back. Another day, another video. Or perhaps it's the second video I've done today. <laughs> I forget. So, today is the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs> Isn't it always? Today, Shay Carl, via the Shay Lost channel, has decided to do his five week challenge. And I am participating because it's a big word that I invented and it makes me sound cool. The elliptical's making weird noises. Why are you making weird noises? Fast forward. <laughs> uh, so, <sighs> I apologize for that. It was probably like a weird version of a seizure. <laughs> so I am participating in the Shea Loss five week challenge. As I mentioned on the video response I did for his initial video, I'm not looking to lose weight per se, although it is part of it, but rather what I want to see is results in the way that my clothes fit. So that's what I'm working on and working with. So I showed the video last night. I'll link it. I uh, just look on the channel. I don't like to try and do major crossover promotions from one thing to the next. And I know that's bad publicity. But there are times when I want something to stand on its own. And 15 minutes is one of those things. I don't want it to be looked at as though it's just something that's so you should go check out this and you should go check out this and while you're doing that check out this want to buy a t-shirt and it's not a big deal I'm not at that level right now where I need to really cross promote or that I want to cross promote I want videos to stay on their own movie reviews 15 minutes sort of let it find its audience as it wants to and go from there <sighs> so the point of all that I suppose was if you look on my channel under the video section you'll see my Shay Loss 5 Week Challenge video response that is a huge mouthful that's what she said okay let me make sure camera going special ad on me over there Okay. So I started that today. What's going on in the news? This is so baffling to me. And it's sad to me because people are, the media is really trying to hype that this guy, his name is Edward Snowden. That he is this, this basically foreign spy of sorts because he revealed that the NSA was monitoring Americans. So now they're going after him with this vindic vind vindictive nature. I've got news for you. If the guy was really a foreign spy, he wouldn't have released it and told people. He would have told someone else and they would have found a way to hack into it and utilize it. They're going after him because they made him look bad and he probably knows things he hasn't yet revealed and they're afraid he will reveal them to the American people. He, in a way he has leverage over them 
So they're trying to silence him as quickly as possible. Doesn't that make you feel good about your government? And I've been someone who said, you know, America, love it or leave it. No, I want to get rid of the people who are damaging it. So, Edward Stone is not one of the people damaging the United States. What's damaging in it, that's not really a word, is it? Damaged. I did really malfunction, need input. That's what she said. That's retarded. Okay. It's been a long day already. Not really a crazy, overbearing day or anything. But this morning, I had this goal of getting rid of my storage unit. Because I have a $170 a month storage unit that stores my trailer and a bunch of other DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince stuff. <sighs> Couches, an armoire from the 1800s, just all kinds of stuff that I want to keep. <sighs> the challenge is that I want to save money. And I can park my trailer for basically 46 bucks a month. Or, I can continue to pay $170 a month. So, what is that? A year. Well, over $1,300. Probably about a little over $1,500 for a year. Versus... Why am I trying to do math right now? So basically about 600 bucks. So I could either... I could either do one or the other. So one's 1,500, one's 600. My perspective is though, if I'm holding on to stuff so that I can sell it, and that's the only reason I'm keeping this big storage unit, I have to find a way to sell stuff for more than $900, otherwise it's not worth it. And that's pretty much the conclusion I've come to. It's just not worth holding on to if I cannot store it in my trailer alone. So I'm dumping stuff. But anyway, this morning, Roy and Bill, the guys who work for me, with me, I had them drive the expedition over, attach it to the trailer, pull it out. I started unloading the trailer, and they went on to do their work at the prison with the vending machines. So, <clears throat> I'm standing there, and, oh wait, what time is it? Oh wow, it's already 8.40. Okay, so, it's 6.30 in the morning. The place there doesn't open until 9 as far as, like, the main office. And it gets to be about 8 o'clock, and I've been lifting 150 pound or more by myself, moving into a trailer, Try three or four different ways to fit it into the trailer, and then I realized, ha, ah, crap, I did not move this with this trailer. We used a flatbed trailer to move this. Son of a... And I happened to have an enclosed 6x12 pace trailer, basically. So I was like, oh my gosh, I've been trying to do this. And it was so close to fitting in there, but it's like this much, like that much more room I needed in order to slide it into the trailer. So I do all this for an hour and a half. It's eight o'clock. It's summer in Texas. And it suddenly may not be 90 degrees, but with the humidity and my perpetual motion, it felt like it was 90 degrees, or closer to 100, and I do not have water. I neglected to take water. <sighs> Nor did I have suntan lotion on at the time, or sunblock or whatever, to protect myself. So the heat's bouncing off metal, starting to sear me like a steak. I have no water. 
I dig through my car and find half a bottle of water that's never been finished. Then I drink it. Still alive, so apparently it wasn't bad. But I have no other water. So I proceed to take all the things I took out of the storage unit to start manipulating and moving things around, put it back into the storage unit, close it up, and I have to walk the half a mile back to my home so that I can get water. <sighs> so then I went back and started doing stuff, but the crew finished up fast. They always finish up pretty effectively and pretty quickly. So they were back and got very little accomplished. But I do have my trailer out of the storage unit. So now I'm going to go back probably tomorrow. If I can spare some time tonight, I will go back and start reorganizing the room and deciding what I am going to keep and what I'm not going to keep. And I'm not keeping a lot of stuff. I have a piano that I have moved literally by myself. A 400 pound piano. I've moved it by myself six times. I'm done with it. I'm not going to get what I originally invested in it. Not that it's damaged, but just you have to find that audience. I haven't found that audience. And it's going to cost me more to keep it then it would be either sell it for cheap or get rid of it. When you think about people who are like collectors, well, I made this comment the other day, but I'll try not to get on that right now. The point is, is I've spent too much money to hold on to it as it is just to try and sell it. And it was really a... I took the piano because I gave my ex the refrigerator that I bought and the big screen TV that I bought and I just didn't want to walk away empty-handed and at the same time in a pool that I bought. But I didn't want to walk away empty-handed when I left the pool, the two-door refrigerator, as well as that big screen TV behind, because I didn't want the kids to be without. My ex has five kids. Four of them lived with us. And the fifth basically lived with us about 50% of the time. He was in and out of work and all that. So anyway, I'm rambling. I have no idea what time it is. Holy crap. So let me quickly get into this before I head out because it's related to it. So my perspective on collecting things goes like this. If you want to collect something, it's great. It's a hobby, it's a thing you enjoy. Great. If you're collecting it because you think it's going to be worth money someday, keep in mind that most things you collect don't like multiply by hundreds of times over the course of 20 years. Usually they may double, they may triple, in some cases five times that amount. Let's just be generous and say it goes from being worth $35 to being worth $175. <clears throat> well, you spend all that time packing it, having to have a house large enough or a storage unit large enough to store it along with other things. So that $35 investment you made to hopefully sell it for $175 20 years later since you held on to something worth $140 extra for 20 years which equates to about what is that $7 a year to hold on to it no is that right? $7 a year to hold on to it. Or set, you're gonna make $7 for every year you held on to it. $7 for every year. But you probably spent at least 25 to 30 a year just to hold on to it. And I don't think there's anything wrong with collecting. Don't do it for money though, do it because you enjoy it. And why do you need 15 of the same thing? 
Seriously. I know people who collect Transformers, and they collect four or five different versions of Optimus Prime. Collect one, for crying out loud. What the hell do you need five versions of Optimus Prime? Are you gonna have a... Are you gonna blow up four of them? It's just... We hoard as people. And I understand sentimental value. If you want to keep your pictures, that's one thing. But I suggest scanning them in. My mother said, well, if anything happens to the digital copy, I have my, my hard copy. It's a great theory, but most pictures deteriorate over time dramatically. So, think not only economically, or realistically about what that is going to be worth or the condition of it in 20 years. I'm not trying to say get rid of heirlooms. Is that something different? It's been passed down from generation to generation. But who the hell is passing a transformer down? It's like, son, your grandfather gave this to me. It's an Optimus Prime toy. Ooh, an Optimus Prime toy, that's great. I want to play with it. No, no, no. Just leave it in the box. And look at it. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be cruel. But you have to be realistic about why you're keeping something. Children want to play with things. So you better not be a transformer collector surrounded by children. Because eventually, toys going to get open. Because kids like to play with toys. Okay, I like to play with toys. And I'm afraid of the dark. And I wet the bed. Just, just now. Alright. I've talked long enough. Way more than long enough. Two minutes over. You're welcome. Hey, take care of yourselves. Hope you have a great day. If you're interested in the Shady Loss 5 Week Challenge, go to YouTube.com slash Shayloss, S-H-A-Y-L-O-S-S, youtube.com slash S-H-A-Y-L-O-S-S, and check out the five-week challenge that's posted today, June 24th, 2013, or just go and participate in it whenever you find it. The time of year doesn't matter, it's just about being committed to it and finding the support. All right, take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Live with passion.